Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. This message is for Gemini. This is going to be a love reading for the month of January 2022. Happy New Year, you all. So this is going to be a you and them reading. I will have your cards on one side and your personal cards on the other. This is someone that you're connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you're thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I want to thank everyone who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated, and ordered personal readings. You all make it possible for me to do this. I appreciate you so much. So let's get started. What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What is Gemini thinking? Whoa, about this connection. A lot of cards jump out. <laughs> Way too many. Okay. What is the heart of the matter? What is happening in daily life? What is going on in your daily life that might be affecting this connection? What is happening in your heart space, your heart space? Intentions and a potential outcome. Let's get the cards for your person and we'll get started. What are they thinking about this connection? What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? Oh, I hate these cards are jumping out. Okay. What is going on in the daily life, the person you're connected to? My goodness. What is happening in the heart space? How are they feeling? Intentions. It's too many. And a potential outcome. Okay, this looks interesting, that is for certain. Let's get started. Got four for your person. Go ahead and grab one more for you. Okay. For the heart of the matter, Gemini, we have the five of wands. So that is Aries, Lewis, Sagittarius energy could be significant there. It's really just an energy. This is an energy that there could be a little bit of conflict. This can be internal conflict where you can actually have had some sort of dispute or, dispute or disagreement with someone, or maybe you're not seeing eye to eye. There could be a little bit of chaos, a little bit of trauma, maybe even a little bit of confusion. But sometimes it's when you're going around in circles a little bit in your mind too, a little bit of internal battles, trying to decide how do I feel? What do I do? Do I speak up? These are wands. So that's wands of passion, wands of creativity. And some even think this might be kind of a, a, a sporting event or a playful banter. So it can be any, any number of energies. You really have to go with what resonates with you. You know where you're at. But whatever the case is, there is a little bit of conflict here. There's a little bit of back and forth energy, some uncertainty and, um, could even be taking a stand for something, stepping up for something. We're going to pull clarifiers on that to get a little more details, but there's passion, there's creativity, there's interest, but there could be a little bit of drama going on here. Your person is in the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's very steady, stable kind of energy. This is someone who's just kind of working away. This is someone that feels like there's potential here because this is what they're thinking about the connection. They feel like 
There could be a little history here. There could be something more to see. They'd like to see where it can go. But I do feel like this person is kind of in their own little world too. So they're thinking about you quite a lot, but they might not be saying a word. And I have to say in your daily life, um, the energy, we have a nine of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. That can be some stress and some anxiety. And your person in their daily life has the Ten of Swords. Now that is the Sun in Gemini. So there's some Gemini interest in energy there, Libra, Aquarius as well. But for your person, that's the end of a very painful cycle. For you, there's some, there's some anxiousness, there's some stress. When I see the Ten of Swords, I feel like there's quiet. I feel like there could be miscommunication, at least with the cards that are around it. Someone may have gotten quiet. Someone may have pulled away. And this could be stressing you out. It, you could be really wondering, why are they being quiet? Why aren't we talking? You could have had some sort of Dis disagreement or something could have happened and both of you have gone a little quiet or there just could have been a lot of drama, a lot of things going on or your person could be working a lot. But whatever the case, it's almost as if they're not saying a word and they're not even sure if there's a chance here, but um, they, they think about you a lot, but they think it might be it might be over with that Ten of Swords. They're also wrapping up something though. They're ending a painful cycle. Whenever you see the Ten of Swords, that is the ending of a painful cycle. So if this person's been kind of up in their head and sort of stressed about things, they're kind of making some sort of peace in their life about their feelings towards you. And that's a very, that's a very healthy place to be, honestly. Even if you're making peace about the fact that something could be over, it's still it's still making peace, but they, I feel like they don't really know how you feel, but whatever the case, it's got you up in your head a little bit, restless, restless nights, maybe thinking a lot. There could be a lot of psychic communication between the two of you though. That's for some, not for all. In your heart space, you do have a temperance card, which is interesting because here we come in with a little bit of conflict, a little bit of drama and some anxiety here, but in your heart space, it's like you're chilling. You know it's good. The Two of Cups, that's love. That's this connection. Is in the hands of divine. All will be well. There's Sagittarius. You could be kind of exploring and, and doing some things that are that are fun for you and exciting for you. And yeah, you might be missing someone, but 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 you you're living your life, you're doing your thing, you're um, you're being guided as well. And I feel like you have this sense that whatever is meant to be here, it's in the hands of divine. That everything's going to work out as it's meant to work out, which is interesting to come in with this stress. But in your heart space, there is some, there is some peace. And I feel like that's the most important thing. In fact, if up in your head, you're kind of, you know, there's a little drama in your mind or your daily life, there's a little anxiety, get into your heart space because it's calm there, it's beautiful. So whatever you can do to kind of get into that energy. For your person, in their heart space, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant here, but there are some decisions that this person is making. I feel like this person does work a lot. They do think a lot. They're coming in with some pentacles and some swords here. This might be a thinker, might be a planner. They are working. They do feel like something, this, you know, this could be over or the two of you aren't talking for some reason, but with the two of pentacles, you get someone who is holding on. And we've got our infinity symbol here. So this is someone who has held on to their feelings for you, possibly for multiple lifetimes, because this is like our infinity symbol. And we do have some other, other cards here that, that sort of show that this is a connection where the, the two of you may have been friends in other lives or known each other in other lives and that sort of thing. And this person, even though in their heart they might have a little indecision going here, they they do feel this, this powerful connection and they do hold on. It's like they never quite let go. In your intentions, we've got the Nine of Cups. That's our wish card. That's a wish come true card. I feel like 
whatever the case is, whatever the situation, you intend to be happy. You intend to live your best life, to do your thing. You may have, these are also unknown factors, something coming in that's very positive. It's a wish come true. I feel like you have been manifesting it too. On either side of this spread, we have the nine of swords and the nine of cups. And it's amazing that even when we go through hard things, we're kind of sending out signals into the universe what we would like instead. And somehow you are sort of sending out some signals, even if you're stressed or whatever, into the universe about what you would like. The universe is taking this and it is working with those cups and delivering something to you that is very positive, that is very satisfying. So you could have some very good news coming in. For your person and their intentions, we have the Eight of Wands. That is communication. That is someone who wants to move forward. That is Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, very passionate, very creative, very interesting. And I feel like this person, if they're in sort of an indecisive energy, they definitely would like to talk. They would like to move forward. They would like to see where things can go. And we have two eights here which is also the infinity symbol. This is someone I feel like they've, they've, if you've never met, this is someone that has been thinking about you and hoping that you're out there in a sense, because we just get this, this feeling that there is something more to this connection. And it's as if when the two of you meet or talk, there's this familiarity as if you've, you've known each other before. I'm just getting a very strong sense about that. That's not going to be for everyone, but even if the two of you aren't talking, I do feel like you sense one another, pick up on each other. And ultimately with your person having the eight of wands here, that is messages, that is communication, that is forward movement. So the two of you might not be saying a word to one another right now with that ton of swords, but I do feel like there's potential here. There's also travel and movement with that eight of wands and the temperance. It's a lot of Sagittarius energy, which is all about um, travel, seeing the world, studying, um, uh, communication. So there is something about the two of you that maybe you have traveled together or talked about taking trips together, that sort of thing, or maybe even met during travels, but there's something about that. Um, or if this is someone you haven't met yet, this could be a... Um, like a soulmate energy that you meet during a travel or on a trip. So getting a lot of different messages for different people, take what's yours, leave what's not. So for our potential outcome, we have the emperor, the ace of wands, the sun and the star for you. Gemini, that's incredible, especially going into it. You got a little bit of stressed out energy, but I feel like you're moving on from that. You're finding your peace. You're finding your happiness. With the emperor, that's Aries energy could be dealing with an Aries, but this is um, the energy of someone who is your person. It is an energy of someone that you feel like is the one for you. And with the Ace of Wands and the Sun and the Star, something is happening with you. Something is changing with you. With the Star, that's all about healing. That's all about overcoming a challenge. The Star comes right after the Tower. There could have been a dispute, dispute, disagreement. There could have been a breakup even. But you're healing and you're kind of rising above everything, getting into your own energy. This Aquarius, it's very meek, it's very positive. And something about that draws someone to you that you feel like is your person. With the Ace of Wands and the Sun, there is a message coming in that is gonna make you very happy. Leo energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of very fiery energy here. Um, but there is something coming towards you, Gemini, and I have to say for Jan January, it's gonna feel like a wish come true with this Nine of Cups. I don't even know if you see this this coming, but there's something about getting into your healing, getting into your heart space, doing you, being you, almost like not even worrying about it, and then something comes together. So your person's potential outcome, we have the moon, the world, the lovers, and the two of swords. There's a little bit of confusion here. Pisces energy could be significant, but with that, I'm also seeing a lot of psychic energy. I have to say, because we have this energy of two people that might not be, might not be talking or even might think that this is, that this is over, but with the moon and the world here, it's almost like they're having some psychic communication across the distance. But once again, I'm seeing the world, which is, it, 
can be travel. It is definitely the end of a cycle. So something is changing. Something is transforming. I mean, we are talking about the end of the world, um, the end of the year and a new beginning. And with the world card, we are looking at a lot of, um, a lot of potential for new beginnings, but a fresh start with a lot of a lot of wisdom behind it because this is someone who's been through the whole journey of the um, of the tarot. They started with the fool, they went through all the different things, and they end up with the world. So it's like you've achieved something, something successful, something positive, and your person is, they are wrapping up a cycle. They are finding some sort of balance within themselves as well with this, with this two of pentacles. I do feel like they're finding some balance, finding themselves. And with the lovers and the two of swords, we have Gemini energy, Gemini Libra, Aquarius energy. I do feel like your person is making a decision now thinking about you a lot you might not realize it but you were right in the center of their reading and they do feel like with this lovers being right over the two of pentacles they do feel like there's something to this connection that is different from anything else that they have experienced so when the two of swords comes in it's when it's time to make a heart overhead decision and someone is still trying to think in their mind and be logical about something but this is not something that's necessarily logical when it comes to love you have to go into your heart space and i feel like gemini you are going into your heart space and i feel like you are drawing something very positive to you that you've been hoping for and longing for because we've got the sun and the nine of cups so there's something so positive coming towards you so let's get some clarifiers and see if we can get a little more details about this. Wow. Our five of wands is clarified by and this deck is called materialism, but traditionally it is the it is the devil card. Card of Capricorn could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like there may have been um, some sort of dispute, some sort of conflict, because maybe just something wasn't quite right. There could have been a little bit of toxic energy, obsessive energy, or something like that. And I feel like it's quite possible that it was stressing you out and you needed a break. You needed some time to get your clarity because we have the nine of swords clarified by the king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It's almost as if you had to take a little time to be on your own and sort things out because you were getting a lot of clarity here with that king of swords. In the heart space, the temperance is clarified by the empress, which is interesting because we have the emperor and the empress here. Both of you, I feel like, have this sense that the other person is the one, is that person that, it's almost like you came here for this, to know them, to meet them, to experience or do something together with these two cards. And... With the temperance and the empress in the heart space here, I do feel like something is happening with you, Gemini. You are rising above some sort of stressful or negative situation and really finding yourself. And it's a new beginning for you. It's changing everything. It's almost like you're just releasing a lot of old, old drama and old conflicts. Like you don't need this anymore. And you're aware of that. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna let the old things, the old, the old, the old stressful things get you down anymore. You are being very decisive about who you are and where you're going. And in your heart space, we have the Empress and the Temperance cards. Uh, Taurus could be significant here with the Empress. I also get Libra here because it's Venus incarnate. You are getting into your heart space and really seeing and knowing who you are and it is raising your vibration up so much that you are drawing in something so beautiful, so interesting and completely, I feel it completely new for you. 
So why do we have the Eight of Pentacles for your person? Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles for your person? Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles for your person? Three of Cups. This person does want to see you again. Um, I, they could come forward in friendship because the Three of Cups is all about friendship, soul family. Um, you may have even like seen or connected with one another over the holidays because the Three of Cups has a lot to do with holiday season and things like that. Um, that could be very significant, but this person might come towards you. They might come towards you with friendship and wanting to talk, wanting to see how you're doing. And yet there's a lot more to it because we've got the emperor and the empress and the lovers. There's something very special about this connection, Gemini. And I feel like you are very much aware of that. So why do we have the Ten of Swords and what's happening in their daily life? Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Why do we have the Ten of Swords? We have a fortune and Eight of Pentacles. You know, the two of you may have stopped talking. You may have had some sort of disagreement. Things could have gotten stressful. Um, your person may be quiet, but they are in, they, with this Eight of Pentacles, they are working away. They are raising their vibration as well. They'd like things to shift. They'd like things to change with the Wheel of Fortune. And there's a lot of travel and movement. So you may be doing some traveling or your person might be traveling. Um, they might want to cross some distance to see you, to talk to you. Definitely something is changing and shifting. And with the Ten of Swords being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, if there has been quiet, I do feel like this person wants something to shift. They're willing to work on it. They're willing to do something to, to change that energy and to see if you two can resolve these differences, if there are differences here. So why do we have the Two of Pentacles in their heart space? What is this decision that is on their mind? Why do we have the Two of Pentacles here? Why do we have the Two of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. Boy, they are stressing too. Both of you have this, this Nine of Swords energy. Now with both of you having it, you could be communicating psychically. I have to say, you could be dreaming about one another, losing a little sleep, thinking things through, that sort of thing. Um, but your person is making a decision about this connection and they're giving it a lot of thought. They are having some anxiety and stress about it, but ultimately I feel like things are shifting for them as well because we have eight of wands here and their intentions clarified by the sun. They want to be happy <laughs> and you make them happy. And I feel like they want a little bit of playfulness and fun with this Two of Pentacles. I feel like there was um, possibly when the two of you connected, things might not have been perfect, but there was something very positive, very playful about it. We've got the sun on both sides. Um, this is also in the unknown factor side on both sides and the intentions. So it's almost like both of you want to be happy. Both of you want to feel that positive energy and I feel like if this person is reaching out and coming towards you it's going to be a lot lighter a lot more fun might more in the energy of friendship if they're reaching back out if you haven't heard from them but there there are a lot of feelings there so why do you have the sun why do you have the sun in your intentions why do you have the sun in your intentions Gemini ace of wands yeah you know if there was some drama and stress in the past, you're really just not about that. I have to say, you want a fresh start. You want a new beginning. I feel like you're willing to talk and communicate with this Ace of Wands here, um, but it's got to be positive. It's got to be light. It's got to be fresh. It's got to be new. And I see the potential for that 100%. So why do we have that Nine of Cups for you? Just realized I clarified the sun for your intentions, but it was actually the Nine of Cups. So why do we have the Nine of Cups? What is this wish come true? What is this wish come true, Gemini? Wow. I feel like we've got the Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. 
there, there very likely is something or someone that you may have had some sort of challenge or disagreement with. But with the Four of Cups, I do feel like you might be missing them. And there is a message um, that is going to take you by surprise. And it is a very positive message. And it's going to ultimately make you very happy here. But you'll definitely have to give this all some thought because if this is a person has stressed you out or caused you anxiety, you know, it's really up to you what you what you want in your in your life. Definitely with the Ace of Wands twice. It's almost like it's got to be new. It's got to be fresh. You might even be meeting someone. I have to say with the Ace of Wands showing up twice, some of you are meeting someone completely new that makes you very, very happy. Um, some of you are having a fresh start with this person that you do have a very deep and powerful connection to. Okay, why do we have the moon for your person? Why is there confusion here for your person? Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Um, they want this balanced connection with you. I don't know if they if they know if you feel the same. I feel like this person really would like to talk and connect with you, but I don't know if they realize if you feel the same or not. And there's a little confusion there. If they reach out, will you will you be willing to talk to this person? I feel like if if it's if it's fresh, if it's new, if it's positive, if it's genuine, that there is some potential here. So why do we have? Let's see. The world here, your potential outcome. Two of Wands. Yeah, someone wants to. Someone, I mean, the two of you may have even taken trips together or something like that. There's a lot of travel here. Someone definitely wants to come towards you, see you. Someone that may have, um, I just got that may have been kind of busy with work because we've got the Eight of Pentacles twice. Um, have they have been working on a way to see you, to, to be near you, to come towards you. And just to close this distance, whatever it is, even if it's just emotional distance, I do feel like this person wants to, wants to see you. Okay, why do we have the emperor? Why do we have the emperor here? Why do we have the emperor? Five of swords and nine of wands. Yeah, you're guarded, Gemini. We've got the Five of Swords. There, there's, there's been some conflict. There's been some challenge with the Nine of Wands. You do feel like this person is like very, very specifically someone that you felt like you were meant to meet. But you do have your guard up. I do feel like you think about this person, but whatever challenges there were, whatever issues that caused you to be um, separated, as much as you feel the connection to this person, I don't feel like you you want the drama. So, so why do we have the Ace of Wands? Why do we have the Ace of Wands? Justice card. Libra energy could be significant, but something is definitely being balanced out. We have the scales on both sides. I feel like there is potential for healing in whatever this is. If there's been drama, if there's been dis dispute, I do feel like there is a chance to talk this out, work it out peacefully, and... Um, and move forward with the justice card. But the good that you have put out is coming back to you. So ultimately, the, you have a genuinely good positive energy. With the sun and the star card here, you will draw good things towards you. So if this person comes towards you, they're going to be in this high vibration that you, that you are coming into, Gemini. Um, because with the justice card, the energy has to be balanced. The connection has to be balanced for it to work out. So why do we have the lovers for your person? Why do we have the lovers here? Why do we have the lovers? Chariot. Wow. Cancer energy could be significant. 
someone is definitely desiring a, a healing, um, might even be coming forward to apologize for whatever difficulty and challenge that this was. With the Eight of Wands and the Chariot here and the Lovers, this person is coming towards you. They might be coming to say that they want to heal things, they want to make things right, they want to work things out. Um, but there's definitely healing happening for both of you. So... With the sun, we got the clarifiers, the ace of wands earlier, and definitely, I feel like you will be happy to move forward here if it is a completely fresh start. So why do we have the two of swords for your person? Why do we have the two of swords as their final outcome card? Wow. I feel like in their heart they know that you are the one with the Ten of Cups. You're the one that they are happy with. There might be a real healing. This could be someone that you have been pretty serious with in the in the past, quite possibly. But whatever the case is, and that is obviously not for everyone. Um, but sometimes the Ten of Cups can mean marriage and that sort of thing. So, um, but. I feel like with the Two of Swords being clarified by the Ten of Cups, and we're talking about someone needing to make a heart overhead decision with the Ten of Cups, they're definitely going to go with their heart. They are absolutely going to trust their, their heart, and they ultimately want to be with you. So why do we have the Star as your final card, Gemini? Why do we have the Star as your final card? Why do we have the Star here? the strength card. A lot of major arcana. Leo energy could be significant. I feel like you you are healing. You are working on some things. You are doing you. You're being unique. You're being yourself. You're finding some strength through all of this. Everything that you have been through, because it looks like there's been some challenges, has brought you to a point that you know who you are and you really genuinely like yourself. You like who you are. You like what you do. You have found yourself in the midst of everything that you've been through in your life. If there's been challenges in this connection or challenges in other things, whatever it is, you are rising up from the ashes of some sort of major challenge and you found a strength you never knew you had. And it's so beautiful and it's a very high vibration and it's ultimately drawing towards you someone that is going to genuinely love you and treat you with kindness and be there for you and be there to stay. So it's a beautiful reading. <laughs> Definitely had its challenges, Gemini, but the potential outcome is incredible. I love where you're headed. It's You're ready for fresh. You're ready for new. You've learned so much about yourself through all of this. And there is potential for beautiful love. in this connection once this person makes this decision from their heart and brings in this message that I do believe is going to make you very happy. And there's a lot of healing energy here on both sides. So that is what I have for you, Gemini. If you liked the video, I'd love you put a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. I have a lot of fun ideas for the channel for January. I can't and 2022. Can't wait to get more into everything coming up. And if something spoke to you, these messages are general. I felt a lot of different energies, a lot of different stories coming in. If something specifically spoke to you and you want to look at it a little closer, um, you can look me up at charitygenice.com and I'd be happy to do a personal reading for you. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.